guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I am finally coming to you guys with a tutorial. I feel like it's been the longest time since I've sat down and just played with makeup. To be honest, this look didn't actually turn out the way that I had initially intended for it to. I knew that I wanted to do a really intense glam but soft holiday inspired makeup look and like it did turn out to be like that but I didn't think it was gonna look like this I don't know how to explain it but regardless I'm really happy with how it looks but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new you know what to do join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos I post oh that being said let's get into it first things first let me get my hair out of the way because it is way too hot to be dealing with all this hair right now. All right guys, first things first, I've already prepped and primed my skin, so I'm gonna be going straight into foundation today. I'll be using the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This one is in the shade number 34 soft bronze and I'm using a dampened Real Techniques blending brush. And as you can see, I'm just dotting that onto my skin and then blending it out with a dampened Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. I'm actually breaking out at the moment due to certain things but this foundation pretty much covers everything up so definitely a really good inexpensive drugstore option if you're looking for that full coverage so now that I have the base down I'm gonna be going in with another Maybelline product this is the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer and this one is in the shade light pale I do like my concealers to be slightly lighter than my actual skin tone so that it not only conceals but also brightens up the areas of the face that I conceal so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that underneath my eyes a little down the bridge of my nose above my brows and on my chin and then to blend it in I'm just going in with that miracle complexion sponge once again nice and dampened and I'm just patting at those areas and blending it into the skin now to quickly set that concealer in place I'm gonna be taking the yellow banana shade from the NYX highlight and contour pro palette and I'm just taking that on a Sigma tapered highlighter brush and applying that to all the areas where I just applied that concealer this is going to set it into place and also help to further more brighten those areas especially underneath my eyes and then for all the other areas of my face that I haven't yet set I'm going in with the wet n wild photo focus pressed powder this one is in the shade warm beige so I'm just taking that on a large fluffy powder brush from Sigma and I'm just going to lightly dust that over all the other areas of my face to set the foundation into place all right guys we are nice and up close now because I'm gonna get started on my eyes I will finish off my face a little later but first things first I need to prime the lids because as you can see I have all this concealer that has already settled into all the lines on my lids and that is just no so I'm taking this, this is the NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone and I'm going to use that on a Zoeva 142 concealer buffer brush. So as you can see, I'm just applying that all over my lids right up to the brows. This is going to ensure that I have a nice, smooth, opaque, blank canvas to work with. And then I'm gonna quickly go in with some more of that yellow banana shade that I used to set my concealer previously. And I'm gonna go ahead and set that base into place just so that these shadows can blend over top nice and smoothly. So for today's look, Look, I am going to be using this palette right here. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. And as you can see, it comes with all of these beautiful warm neutral shades, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. Anything warm, neutral, that's what I'm about. So to start things off, I am going to be taking this shadow right here and I'm gonna lay that down in my crease as my initial transition shade. I'm just taking that on a Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. So as you can see, I am running this shadow right through my crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of the eyes and I'm really blending it and smoking it out as I go. So next up, I'm gonna be taking this shade down the bottom here. It's like a warm matte terracotta orange type of shade and I'm taking that on the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush and I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and apply this in the same area as I did with that first shade but I'm not going to smoke it out as far as I did. This is all about layering and blending the colors at this point. Next up I'm going to be going into this shade right here. So I'm taking that on a Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer and what I'm going to do with this shade is start to apply it on the outer corners of my eyes. I'd describe this shade as like a really warm chocolate reddish
reddish brown. I'm just packing that color onto the outer third of my eye and then working at it and blending it in towards the center of the lids and into those crease shades as well. So I'm pretty happy with the placement of all that and how that's looking. Now at this point, I like to go back in with the first shadow that I used on my crease and I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I used and just ever so slightly run that along the top edge of everything just to marry everything together so it's all nice and blended. Kind of creates like a, a shade of its own as well along that top edge, which is cool. So for the lid color now, I honestly, I don't know. I feel like I want to use all the shimmery shadows in this palette as my all over lid shade because they're all so pretty. But I think for this look today, I am, I honestly can't decide right now, but I think I'm gonna have to go with this one right here. It's like a shimmery champagne rose gold type of shade. So I'm gonna take that on the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader and pack that onto the empty space that's on my lids. So as you can see, I'm applying it onto the lids all the way from the inner corners and then pulling it through and blending it into that outer color shade that I've already laid down. I actually really like how that looks. Like that goes together really nicely. I think now I'm gonna go ahead and apply shadows to my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna go back in to this shade down the bottom here and I'm taking that on a Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite crease brush and I'm gonna go ahead and run this along my bottom lash line. So as usual, you guys know the drill, I'm just running this along my bottom lash line and blending and smoking it out ever so slightly as I go. And I'm also connecting it up onto the outer corners of my eyes to that shadow that's already there. And then next I'm gonna be taking this shadow right above it, that warm chocolate reddish brown shade. I'm going into that with the Zoeva 230 Luxe pencil brush and once again running this along my bottom lash line but I'm keeping it much closer to the lash line to further define the eyes. So I'm happy with that bottom lash line now. I'm just gonna quickly go back in with the brush that I used to apply this outer corner shade and I'm just going to blend between the lid shade and that outer corner color just so that everything is blended nicely and there's no harsh lines between the two. Now for my inner corner highlight and also for my brow bone, I'm going to be taking this shade up top here. It's like a creamy shimmery white shade. I'm going into that with the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. And I'm just gonna put that on the inner corners of my eyes to start with. And then also to the arch of my brows. So that's pretty much it for the shadows for this look. Now I was going to go ahead and do a winged liner today, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks really like nice and soft and pretty just as it is. So I don't wanna go crazy with it and go over the top and add a liner. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and add a coat of mascara top and bottom. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And for lashes, I did have to keep it with the drugstore option. So I'm gonna be going in with these today. These are from Eyelore as part of the Vegas Nay Collection in the style Grand Glamour. And as you can see, they're pretty intense, but I feel like since this is a glam holiday makeup look, then it's totally fine for the lashes to be really dramatic and intense. Alrighty, so the eyes are done. They are looking so intense. I'm definitely not used to seeing myself looking this glammed up because I haven't done like a dramatic makeup look for a really long time now. But I mean, I really like the colors on my lids. So we're going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. I honestly can't stop looking at the lashes. They're just like, bam, in my face. It's taking me some time to get used to them. But I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the face. So to contour, I'm going to be taking this shadow right here, shadow shade from the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm taking that on a Models Prefer contour brush and I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheekbones with that. And I'm also gonna use that to contour my nose, but I'm just using a eyeshading brush to do so. I need to add some color back into my skin, so I'm gonna be going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer for that. And I'm just taking that on a Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. So I'm gonna run that over my cheeks and also around my temples and hairline. This is really gonna add some color back into my face. And then for blush, I'm gonna be using this one from Wet n Wild. This is one of their color icon blushes in the shade Rose Champagne. As you can see, it's like a really peachy orange tone blush, but it has 
a gold shimmer sheen throughout it. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna be using this one from Wet n Wild. Once again, another Wet n Wild product because they are super inexpensive. So this is their Mega Glow Highlighter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my face with that, applying it to the very tops of my cheekbones as well as down the bridge of my nose and a little above my brows and on my cupid's bow. I feel like this highlighter is perfect for this look because it does have that rose gold shimmery undertone to it which really ties in nicely with the shadows that I have on my lids. So for the lip color for this look I really thought that today was going to be the day where I'd put on like a vampy bold lip but because I'm so into how the lids are looking like how my eyes are looking with that color I don't want to go crazy with it and do too much so you already know that I'm gonna go with the nude. So I'm gonna line my lips with this first. This is the Essence Lip Liner in Honey Bun. It's like a pinkish nude type of shade. And then for my actual lipstick color, I'm gonna be taking this one from Maybelline. This is one of their Color Sensational lipsticks in number 728 Honey Beige. So I'm liking how this color is looking on my lips for this look, but I want to lighten it up just a little bit. So my trick for that is to go in with a lighter nude lipstick. So this is the NYX Round Lipstick in the shade Cirque. It is a very light pale nude, especially on me, so I can't really wear it alone, but I do like to use it for this purpose. So there we have it guys. This is the completed look. Super intense, super glam, soft, glowy look for the holidays. This isn't exactly how I intended this look to turn out. I definitely had thought I was going to wear a more bold lip, but regardless, I really like how it looks. So I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will leave a list of everything I used throughout this video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I shall see you all in my next video.